despite the fact that their team are trailing here. Previously, the Galaxy had only been shut out on three occasions this season. One of those was the only other game in which David Beckham didn't appear against Toronto. Only three minutes away, plus stoppage time for a big shutout here at home. Certainly not the first team to suffer that fate at the hands of the fire this season. Smart play by Andy Heron in the corner, doesn't want to go to goal, just knocks it off the defender, just trying to kill clock. Saw Chicago working on it would be their ninth clean sheet of the season. Still time for LA to take that away from it. You say though, simply no way through against Conde. Yeah, that is a physical mismatch. Conde doing a good job using his body to shield that ball out. For Bruce Arena, his return to Major League Soccer. But a big welcome back from Major League Soccer. We better for having Bruce Arena and Dave Sarakin and the likes of Brian McBride back in the league. Heidi Lewis, too, we showed you earlier on. To trading away Carlos Ruiz as part of the move to bring Eddie Lewis here. He's on his way north to play for Toronto. Now Cissé. Randolph just got ahead of himself. Oh, the offside flag coming up. It's one more switch for Dennis Hamlet to think of making this switch a few minutes ago, and he's going to do so now. Robinson standing by. Jason Robinson. And there is uh, an out and out defender. Will uh, replace Chris Rolfe as they try and shore things up. A pure tactical switch. Chris Rolfe had some opportunities. I think he'll get better as they get synchronized with Brian McBride, the likes of Justin Knapp. Polanco obviously back in the midfield. Now Tudor. Into the corner. And he's got the decision in his favor. A bit of a rambunctious challenge from Conde. He didn't need to do that. And it's going to be four minutes of stoppage time. Galaxy. Potentially a fruitful free kick here. Everybody from the Galaxy prepared to go into the box. Dennis Hamlet did a good job telling Justin Matt get up to midfield, so I have to leave two players back. Greg Vanny has come close to finding the soft spot out of the Chicago Fire defense with previous set pieces. Tries to continue that theme. Goes beyond the far post. All sorts of tussling and jostling for the ball. The end result is merely a goal kick. That's the ball whipped in. In swing with the left foot. Far post. That's good defending. Sumare and Bruce Arena, Dave Sarakin. That says it all. Chicago Fire leading by a goal to nil in stoppage time at the Home Depot Center. And on the verge of ending the Galaxy at fourth home defeat of the season. And ninth overall defeat for Chicago will be their 10th win it would equal their total in the entire 2007 campaign it's 
McBride. Clipped by Tudela. And Ricardo Salazar is going to hand Josh Tudela a yellow card. That's Brian McBride on the ball. Tudela just trying to track down from behind. Steps on the right foot of McBride. Reckless and gets the yellow card. McBride going the distance in his first full start. He played 45 minutes. It's DC United last week. Starting to drift away. It's the fire fans in attendance who are making the most no noise at the moment. And the fire continuing to make noise in the Eastern Conference. It's been a great rebound for them, Shep, to have to defeat at the weekend against DC. Well, we talked about it in the beginning of the broadcast. They're a very good team, and Brian McBride. Maybe that one missing piece they need to get to MLS Cup final. I think they have all the ingredients. Bush and goal, excellent back line, dynamite in the midfield. Now with Brian McBride, another quality option up top. Gutierrez is fending off two delay. in the comfort zone. He's playing keep away at this stage. It's the last few seconds tick away. No Blanco tonight for them, but it didn't matter. Galaxy without Donovan, without David Beckham. Their opportunities are few and far between. Near one more opening. Klein trying to will himself onto the ball, but again, Will Man Conde with other ideas. And it's all over. The final whistle goes. And Bruce Arena's era with the Los Angeles Galaxy starts with a defeat. And one of his former pupils, Brian McBride, played an integral part in this victory for the Chicago Fire. He ends up with a game-winning assist for John Thorrington, who came up with the only goal of the game midway through the second half, and really, there was no way back for the Galaxy. Adrian, we watched Bruce Arena back in form, barking at the fourth official on the sideline, but there he is, having a talk, letting him know he's back. But it was a, a game that... The Chicago Fire deserved the victory. They had a number of quality chances. And this man, the goal scorer, with a beautiful goal inside of the right foot, ripped it to the far post. That man, Brian McBride, unselfish, gets the assist and a deserved, well-deserved victory for Chicago. Now, three times now, John Thorrington has come up with the only goal of the game between these two teams. Let's uh, go down now and hear from uh, Alan Hopkins. Alan. The man who got the game-winning goal, John Thorrington. What happened on the goal? Um, I think I picked the ball up. It was just after I'd come centrally. We made a little bit of a tactical change, and I saw Brian and played him. The ball kind of ran off. He played me a perfect ball back, and then, I don't know, it's all kind of just a blur from there. I just tried to bend it into the back post, and thankfully it all went in. Finally healthy this year. We talked about it earlier. We also talked about how much you're relishing this role as a fifth Beatle. How well is it really you've taken on this challenge of being a guy that everyone forgets about? Um... I don't I mean, I'm just out there to do a job for our team, you know, and I think um, Dennis has put some faith in me and, you know, the whole organization from the ownership down to my teammates and coaches, you know, that I I've managed to stay healthy and, you know, I missed last game, unfortunately, but now I'm uh, good enough to come home, play in front of my family, friends and loved ones and, yeah, it feels real nice. Enjoy the game and great result for you guys and best of luck and continued health for you down the Thanks, road. Back up to you, Adrian. Thanks, Alan. Uh, John Thorrington probably wishes he could play the Los Angeles Galaxy 
every week in this Major League Soccer season. But the Chicago Fire have prevailed here at the Home Depot Center. Thorington's goal did the trick. Chicago winning by a goal to nil. We're not done here. Shep and I will be back with more after these words.